Man, it's Money Ma, two hours, 1019 Gun Squad, and you watching No Jumper. Gang. From Washington, D.C., Southeast D.C., Davis Gun Road, 4628. Yeah. Now, I grew up a little bit on the uh, Marina side, too, on the Oxen Hill side. Grew up a little bit up there, too. Yeah. I mean, shit was rough. I don't want to speak too much on it, but shit was rough. Hard times. Niggas had to get through it, had to work through it. It wasn't going good. Had to do something. Had to do something. Lost our rapping. <laughs> <laughs> was I bad yet? Hell yeah. <laughs> always. As always. Everybody in Southeast DC, majority everybody in Southeast DC. Everybody bad. Grow up a badass kid. Hell yeah. Fights. Fights. Fights after fights. Elementary school, middle school, high school, everything. Trap, food, food. Shit people used to listen to back in like 2015, 16. Like trap for you with shit bags and all that. Cool shit like that, yeah. Uh, how did I start rapping? Damn. 2017, I was a, uh, my brother, my brother Wayne told me I should start rapping. I kept fucking up. I ain't had nothing to do. I was some shit at sports. <laughs> I couldn't do nothing. He told me rap. Start rapping. Start putting shit down we was doing on the paper. Like, oh yeah, I could write. Oh yeah, let me try this shit in the booth. I was some shit, but progress got better. It's a jank called Minnesota and Dipset. I know, I know you uh, you know the Lil Yachty remix, Minnesota. Yeah, I did that. And then I did a jank called uh, Dipset. It was all right. Uh, my first time rapping, and I put that out. I put it out on SoundCloud. Everybody was going crazy off that shit. It was like, oh, it sounds good, but if you hear it now, it'd be some shit. But back then, it was all right. It was cool. Cool. Yeah, once the music started popping off, people start asking for shit. Like, but I don't got nothing from nobody. <laughs> like before, nobody was a fuck with me. I mean, people was like good men and shit. Like, we'll chill, smoke every day, but. Niggas wasn't really depending on me for shit. Now I feel like motherfuckers depending on me for shit now that shit kicked off. But it ain't really nothing there for nobody, so I don't know. Yeah, like, people be asking for like free features. I mean, I fuck with you if you my man, like, you my man 100 grand. I'm definitely, you definitely a part of my come up, for sure. But like, it just be other shit. Like, people be thinking like, I got it. Like, I'm rich or something. Like. People don't know the behind the scenes. Like, I'm just making it look good. Like, that's that's how I be when you coming up. I'm just making it look good, but I ain't, like I said, I ain't had enough for nobody, so. Yeah. Motherfuckers start to hate. Start acting fake. Start saying you switching. But that's how the rap game go. How I get money, Ma? Uh, all right. So at first it wasn't even money, Ma. It was like, they didn't even have Ma in it. It was like some random ass dumb shit. Like, I was in the basement one day with my brother and then he was just like, you like playing with money and shit. So, and then he was like, my brothers and, and me, my, uh, my sisters and my mothers and they used to call me Lil Money when I was younger. So they started saying Money Ma. I don't know where Ma came from, but it's just Ma. Like, they just put Ma right there. Cut off the rest for Ma. 2019, this is the, uh, October 19th, 2015, that's the day. My man Sway died, so like, when you see 1019 on my Instagram, 1019 on my bio, tatter on me, that's what it stands for. It don't stand for no hood, no gang, no nothing. That's just what I represent. But what about the stick? It's my biggest song right now. It's at 1.5 million views on YouTube. And it's streaming big on Apple Music. But, I got something else sneaky for him. Y'all gonna, gonna get it. That exclusive coming soon for sure. I remember the night before it hit a million. Uh, it was me, Buddha, T, and the rest of the gang. We was just chilling, smoking, and then like I pulled out my phone. I see on Instagram like people mention me like, "Bro, your shit hit a million. I'm like, "What? A million on YouTube, real live?" Like, click the link in my bio because it's right there. I'm like, "Oh yeah, that ain't really doing numbers. Like, I really touched a million views. Like, people fucking with me. Like, and this is just not coming from the DMV." These not all replays, like this coming from all over the West Coast, East Coast, Midwest, Middle East, everything. Now it's my second time in LA. I'm loving that shit.
shit. I'm taking big meetings, big meetings, big features, big features on. Nope. 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 Gang right there. We got some sneaky shit on the way. That's the only thing. All right. Look. Whoa. He gonna be on Youngest Chopper too, but fuck that. I'm not telling y'all nothing up. All right. I can find out the rest. I y'all say? Okay, so I dropped the first Youngest Chopper, which was my like official mixtape that I ever came out with. Then it was Draco Vibes, and now it's Youngest Chopper 2. Coming out with a second youngest chopper, but it's about to be even harder than the first one. It's coming with features, a new sound. It's gonna be big. Like, it's gonna bring me out. I'm just being versatile. Like, it's just not all trap rap. You know what I'm saying? I, I can switch it up. Let me show you how I can switch it up. Nah, not RV singing though. Not like that. Not like that. Not. <laughs> we ain't getting that deep. What about the stick because like it just give you the energy like what about the stick give you that good ass energy like it just give you the vibe then the second song Gucci like it's like a slow bounce it's like a jam song like you get in your jam to it you can get high to it if you want to <laughs> like it's just I got the chop jump on another shit boom like, sensitive stuff on the Gucci the spoof like it's a jam that's a vibe too, like it's all about vibe and wavy shit. The third song, Polly. Polly D Long. D Long. Hashtag Free Jack Boy. That's just like a cool wavy ass song too. I don't really got no reason for that one. But y'all should go check out all three of those songs if y'all ain't if y'all ain't listening to me yet. Check it out. Mm. I'm a punch in type of rapper, but I can switch it up sometimes. I just gotta feel the studio vibe. If I'm feeling the vibe of the studio, I could punch in just automatically. But if I ain't feeling the vibe, I gotta listen to the beat and just jot some words down. I probably jot the hook down and then punch in the verse. You know what I'm saying? It could go either way. Like the studio just gotta be set up the right way. Speakers gotta crank. It gotta be some weed in it, obviously. And like I like the little like when they put colors and shit in the studio. Like you could change the colors yourself. Lights. Yeah, it's, that's a vibe. That makes the vibe. Ass, your if your J ain't fat mo, like you can't you can't roll it two grams or better, two grams. At the least one five if you if you being skinny, but two grams for sure. She some funnel, no blunts. No blunts. No blunts. What? Only only the look. They caught me on live smoking blunts, but that's only because it's not no boy she's a funnel out here. That's the only reason why. But other than that, I don't fuck with blunts. So fuck back good. Uh, we got connection. Like, I know I got family. I got family that he know and shit. I was a little young nigga, just looking at them and shit. So, you know what I'm saying? When I was on the Maryland side, I was looking at them. Yeah, they seen me and shit. Seen me go up to a little bit. So we just started making music. He seen my music, started fucking with my music. Like, yeah, you gotta get out here. Like, that was my. That's my favorite DMV rapper as far as DMV rapper. My favorite DMV rapper. I've been telling niggas that though. Okay. Like I've been around him and shit. When I first seen him and shit, I was like, oh, that's cute. I ain't know he be on my folks' house. I was like, yo. And then uh, just stabbed him up and shit. And I seen him and it just went from there. But I ain't really talked to him until like I started rapping and shit. And then we started fucking with each other more. And then we got a real relationship and shit. So like now that's like my blood brother type shit. Real life. We locked in for sure. At first it wasn't working out, but. From August to like now, shit been amazing. Like, been progressing. We've been going to the top. But no problem. Nothing in our way. We ain't worried about nothing. For a fact. It's been working. Man, I'ma tell y'all this. Man, chasing mood. Kill the fool, shot, busy. Baby, need no fly. I gotta save me all right. <laughs> like, we're shooting, you know? Bad chasing them. Like, just the gang. It's nobody else. Nobody else. Everybody know. Baby Nino, all of them. Everybody know. Oh, yeah, Rico Nasty, too. I'm. <clears throat> yeah, Rico. Fuck with Rico. Cut the camera. Cut the camera. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. 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 Niggas in my DMs telling me, like, it's fans in my DMs telling me, like, hey, bro, if you don't drop that shit, I'm gonna come find you and drop that shit, bro. Like, real life, you got me fucked up. Like, real life, people be in my DMs going slack and all that, bro. Pay attention. I got time for some exclusive ass videos coming for y'all. Our youngest tribe too. Uh, me and Manny, me and Young Manny got Money Manny on the way also, so watch out for that. And me and Band Chase and Wheeler got a tape coming up also called Born to Get It. So y'all watch out for all that. It's coming soon 2019. We doing it big. Four or five. Shout out my hood. Shout out Livingston Road. 4628 game. Rest in peace away. Free Jack Boy. Stop fucking hating. No cap. Stop hating. I'm not hating on none of y'all. Like, I'm cool. Stop hating. That's the motive.